Hello again, Year Sixes. Welcome to Tuesday's English lesson. Today, we're going to be discussing a character's motivations as our world. Now, motivations are the things that make us do something or act in a certain way. So we're going to be thinking a lot about why the character of Frances acts in the ways that she does, behaves in a certain manner. To do that, we're going to write in a character's style. We're going to empathize with a character. That means put ourselves in their position, think about why they're doing things and why they're feeling the way they are. And to use our knowledge of a character's feelings to understand why they act in a certain way. Now, for this one, you will need to watch the video again, at least the bit up to Francis going into the boat, but you'll need to be reading, sorry, you need to be reading, you'll need to be watching that video again carefully. I think really you do need to watch the whole video all the way through, but the link is on the screen. It's also been put on your PDF worksheet, so hopefully no one will have any issues there. If you do, just message myself or Miss Barrett and we'll send you over the link direct to you if you're struggling to watch it. When you've done that, we can then go through the rest of the lesson. So, in the rest of the lesson, you're gonna be pretending that you are messaging Francis, or you are gonna be replying, should I say, as Francis, to messages from a friend. So your friend is messaging you whilst you're still in your tent. Hi Francis, how's camping going so far? And then I want you to reply as though you were Francis, please. How is camping going so far? You're in the tent, your mum and dad are in a separate tent, Think about her character. Think about how she'd be feeling at this point. Ah, oh, right. Have you got much planned for your time there? And then again, you'll respond to that one. And so on. On the sheet, there's a couple of different responses from the friend. You need to think of what Francis would say each time. You've got to not only think about what she'd say, but you've got to make the text exchange work. So you've got to read what the friend replies afterwards and think, right, what did Francis say to the friend? that led to that response. So there's sort of two bits to that. When you've done all that and you've filled those out and you've done this two sides of the conversation, your task is to then create your own text exchange. But this text exchange needs to be when you're in the boat. So you've gone through the woods, you've left the camp, you've got into the boat, you've rowed out to the center and you start hearing those knockings, those bangings. What would the text exchange be like then? How would it have changed? What would you be talking about? You're going to do both sides this time. You're going to be Francis and Francis's friend. And you're going to do both sides of that text conversation. That's your task today. There's not a lot I need to say about that one, really, for your English task today. This is setting us up, starting to think about how Francis is feeling at different points in the story, ready for when we write our diary on Thursday and Friday. So make sure you are thinking through the Walt. Look at the Wilf if you need to be reminded and put as much of Francis into those messages as you possibly can. I'll be back with you tomorrow for our big read and our English lesson. But for now, that's everything from me. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.